KPM. Hmm, what is this? Ah, Miss Sim, you yes. called me? Yeah, what is this actually? Ah, yes, remember the time where you asked me to prepare plans to increase our profits? Yeah. That's why I've, re I've prepared these two. Okay. Plan A and Plan B. And I, I think see. Plan B is the plan for us to increase our profits. I see, but I think Plan A is quite good though. No, Plan B is sure? definitely better. Why? Oh, well, how about this? Just mm -hmm. trust me, Plan B is the way to go. Oh! Are you sure? Wait. Yeah, look at the time. Oh, mm -hmm. I gotta go. Let's just go with plan B, okay? Plan B! Wait. Plan B! Wait! Hello everyone, you are now watching Up Perform or Menengah Atas on Didit TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, as your host. And of course, our lesson today is English Form 5. And of course, our teacher is none other than Miss Sim. Hi Miss Sim. Hi Sean. How are you doing today? Good. I am super excited for our lesson, but I also want to introduce our sign language interpreter of the day. And that is of course, none other than Teacher Zaimi. Hi teacher. <laughs> All right, and I believe it's not just the three of us in the studio, aside from our cameraman. We mm -hmm. also have a few pupils who are online yes. with us right now. Let's see right. who they are. Hi! There we go. Our bright and happy faces joining in our class today. Could you kindly introduce them to those watching at home? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, we have uh, Hang Fu Liang. Fu Liang, can you wave your hands to them? Yes. Okay, and then we have Rachel. Okay, we have Eugene, and lastly, we have Zichen. Hi everyone, I have a very important question for you. Are you ready for our lesson today? Give me a big thumbs up if you are! There we go, everyone is ready. But before we get to the lesson, mm -hmm. I actually have a question regarding our gimmick that we have, uh, mm -hmm. that we had earlier. You kept yes. on asking me, why is my plan better? Is that something to do with what we're learning today? Yes, um, since... Uh, just now, uh, we can see that we are in an, uh, kind of like a discussion, mm -hmm. okay? But then you do not give me any uh, justification, explanations of uh, why you have chosen uh, Plan B. Yeah. So, in our lesson today, we are going to learn how to agree or disagree with someone mm -hmm. by giving our explanation and justifications. Alright, so that's what we're learning today. So, yes. shall we continue? Yeah, sure. Alright. Okay, so, yes. So today we are going to learn how to agree or disagree in a proper way. Okay, and our focus today is on uh, speaking skill. So let's look at uh, this. Okay, we are going to focus on uh, Form 5 textbook in uh, Unit 7, mm -hmm. the media. And our focus is speaking. Okay, if you look here, we have our teams today, learning standards, language focus and reference. First, okay, our team is science and technology. Mm -hmm. And then we have two learning standards here. Okay, one is our main skill and the second one is our complementary skill. Okay, so for the first one, we are going to learn how to explain and justify our plans and ambitions. And the second one, we are going to keep our interactions going in discourse level exchanges by paraphrasing and rephrasing appropriately. Okay, okay. and then we are going to focus, that means we are going to use words and phrases that are related to uh, media, sites, and communicating with the public. Okay, and our reference, we are going to use from 5 textbook, Dowlet, which is on page 91. All right? All right. Okay, so let's take a look here. We, um, later, I'm going to explain about our learning objective of the day. Mm -hmm. And then we have four parts here. First part, we are going to learn, okay, how to make a decision. So we have a title here, Choose Your Stand. Second part, Agree or Disagree. Third part, how to attract more customers. Uh, part four, speak the right words. And after all, we are going to have an overview. Okay. okay? So our learning objective of today. Okay, by the end of this lesson, so our pupils will be able to, first, they are going to learn how to agree or disagree appropriately by giving explanations 
and or justifications. Okay? okay. And the second one, we are going to keep the discussion going by paraphrasing and rephrasing our friend's idea. Okay, like I say, you can refer to the textbook which is on page 91. Okay. So now we are going to have a little warm up activity, right? Okay. So, um, so I'm going to ask uh, questions, okay, that you are going to make a decision. Okay, so we have to choose your stand, and uh, it's regarding about news. So let's look at this. Okay, so you're going to choose, okay, which one do you agree with? Okay, so pupils. Um, if you look at the questions, the first question, I have it, I'm more interested in local news and another one would be I'm more interested in international news. So you're going to choose whether you're interested in local news or international news, okay? Just choose one. But then you have to provide me a reason, like explanation or justification why you agree with that or why you choose that. Uh, that uh, choice, right? Okay. okay, and the second one, the second question, I prefer to read magazine and newspaper to find out more about fashion and news. Another one would be, I prefer to visit websites to find out more about fashion and news. So which one do, uh, do you agree with? Do you think that magazine is better or websites better? Mm -hmm. Okay, and the third question would be, I'm attracted to the commercial on radio or television. Another one would be, I'm not interested, I'm not attracted to any of these call commercial on radio or television. So uh, we'll like my pupils here as well to choose their stand, like which one do they agree with and they have to give me a reason why do they think so. Okay? All right. So maybe we can ask our pupils here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So anyone would you, uh, of you would like to answer first for the first questions? Fu Liang? Okay. Fu Liang. Okay. For me? I'm more interested in international news. Okay. It is because international news can invariably keep me in the loop by knowing the latest incidents happening in any corner of this tremendously enormous world. For example, I can keep myself updated by knowing the most recent wars happening in certain countries. Thank you. I see. And I, I can also see that Eugene keep on saying no, right? Eugene is disagree with him. Okay, Eugene, can you give me a reason why I disagree with Fu Liang, Eugene? Uh, this is because, in my opinion, mm -hmm. I'm more interested in local news. Mm -hmm. Since we live in Malaysia, we need to care for the changes and happening in our country. Mm -hmm. For instance, the economy, natural disaster, and the politics. Moreover, it is very important to know the latest news of my country. With the advance of technology, I can stay up to date with the latest information through the internet. That's all for me. All right. Okay, so according to Eugene, he thinks that we should care more about our own countries, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how about for the second questions? Girls, any one of you would like to answer this question? Okay, Rachel. Which one do you prefer? In my point of view, mm -hmm. I prefer visiting websites to find more information mm -hmm. about fashion and news. This is because I can browse through the website just on my phone, mm -hmm. anywhere and anytime. Besides, I can find a lot of information by visiting websites. I just need to type a sentence in the search column mm -hmm. and about hundreds and more information will come out within seconds. Good. Okay, so according to Rachel, it's uh, easier that way to mm -hmm. browse the website. Okay, how about the last one, the third questions? Okay, I think we'll have uh, Zixian. Would you like to answer this question? Okay, which one yes. do you agree? From my perspective, I'm attracted to the commercials on radios and mm -hmm. televisions due to the fact that I'm just a listener and not necessarily have to buy anything. Although some will think that the commercials are annoying, I personally think that I can improve my soft skill and my mm -hmm. creativity to the various types of advertisement. Well, I think they all like provide their justifications, right? I think mm -hmm. they all like receive five stars, maybe. Five stars for yeah, right? everyone. Because they, give, they already give their explanations, right? Yes. Why? Okay, right. what do you think so? Sean? I think they did a great job as mm -hmm. well. And everyone deserves a short break. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little break. And back to you for Up Perform on Did It TV KPM. <laughs> KPM 
and we are back for Upper Form on Didate TV KPM together with me, Sean Stephen, and of course, Teacher Sim or Miss Sim. All right, Miss Sim, yes. shall we continue? Yeah, sure. All right. Okay, so let's continue. All right, so for this part, we are going to learn how to agree or disagree with someone in mm -hmm. appropriate way. Okay. okay, so normally in a discussions or conversations, you will wonder like, how are you going to say something if you really do not uh, agree with your friends, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We have a language bank here. We have some of the words or phrases that you can use if you are completely agree with your friend or disagree completely with your friends. Or sometimes we are actually agree in part <coughs> or disagree in part, right? Okay. okay, let's see. So, if you agree with your friend, you can say that, I completely agree with you, mm -hmm. okay? Or you can say, I totally agree with you. Then your friends will know that you agree with them. Okay, and the second one you can use that I think you are right about that. Okay, or you can say that I feel the same way or I feel it exactly the same. Okay, and then another one is that is my opinions too. Okay, so we have when you say something like this, then people will know that you actually agree with them. Right? Okay, yeah. okay, how about if you do not agree with someone else? Okay, if you do not agree with them, maybe you can say that. I disagree or don't really agree with you because I think that, okay, or you can say that I think you are or you might be wrong about that and then you provide your reason why. Okay, so you can use the third one like I wouldn't say that because and then you give your explanations. Remember, we need to explain to other people if we do not agree with them. Yeah. Okay, and then I don't think that's the case because and then you provide your reason as well like why do you think so? Okay, yeah. so how about if we agree or disagree in part? Okay, so if you see here, we have two examples, right? Okay, first you can say, I have a point, uh, sorry, you have a point, but, okay, the keywords here is but, okay, you need to use but, all right? Or you can say that I see what you mean, but, okay, you need to use but as well because you only agree in part, but you do not agree for the second one or maybe some of the points, okay, not totally agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's have a little practice here. We have one practice here for the pupils who are watching uh, this or for those pupils in mid here. Okay, so when we are discussing uh, something, we might agree completely with the other persons, disagree completely, or we might agree with part of what they are saying. So, read these statements and decide whether they agree completely, A, disagree completely, D, or agree in part P. Okay, you can also find this in your textbook on page 91. All right, so, uh, so let's look at the first questions. Okay, I think you are right that. Okay, something else. The second question is, I see what you mean, but the third question is, I don't think that's the case because, right, the fourth question is, you have a point, but the fifth one, that is my opinion too. Right? It sounds familiar, right? Mm -hmm. And number question number six, I think you are wrong about that, okay? Or what? <clears throat> Alright, so let's ask the pupils in mid here. Okay, what do they think for the first one? Is it A, D, or P, right? Yeah. So yeah. Anyone would like to volunteer to answer this question? Rachel? Alright, okay, Rachel, what is the answer for number one? I think the Answer is A, agree completely. Agree completely. Okay, let's check. Is it correct? Yes. Right. Yeah. Because we have the words that I think you are right. Okay. How about questions number two? Anyone? Fuliang? All right. Okay, Fuliang. What do you think for this question? I think it's P, agree in part. Agree in part. Why? Why do you think so? Uh, in the front, it said that I see what you mean means that Mm -hmm. He agreed with it, mm -hmm. but at the behind is that but that he has an uh, opinion uh, opposite him. All right, mm -hmm. okay, so it's like in part only, yeah, because the keywords but. Let's track. Yes, P. Okay, how about questions number three? Anyone would like to try here? Okay, Zichen, what do you think the answer for this? P, agree in part. Number three? Oh, are you sorry. sure? Oh, <laughs> then why is you can try oh, again? Um, 
Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I think that the answer is D. Disagree completely. Okay, let's check. Yeah, is P or D? Yeah, I don't think that is the case because yeah, you provide a reason. Mm -hmm. So that is actually you disagree with your friends, and so that you need to provide a reason. Okay, the answer is D. Yeah, sure. Okay, how about number four? Question number four. Anyone would like to? Yes, Eugene. Okay, Eugene. I think the answer is P. Agree in part. Agree in part. You have a point, but okay. Yeah. Let's check. Yes, P. Okay. How about question number five? Anyone? Fu Liang? All right, Fu Liang. What is your answer? I think it's A. Agree completely. Agree completely. Mm -hmm. That is my opinion too. Let's check. Yes, A. How about right. the last questions? Anyone? Rachel. Okay, Rachel. I think the answer is D. It's agree completely. Why do you think so? Why is it disagree completely? Because the person seems like going to give uh, an opposite uh, justification. Okay, so it's like because the keywords there, right? I think you are wrong. The keywords there are wrong, yeah. okay? Yeah, so let's see. Yes, the answer is D. Disagree completely. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, let's move on. Okay, so when you um, discuss with your friends, okay, when you disagree with your friends and in the discussion, sometimes you need to rephrase or paraphrase your friends' ideas, okay? Whether you support your friends' idea or you disagree with your friends, sometimes you need to um, rephrase because you want to show that you are listening or you are actually uh, supporting your friend's idea okay so how are you going to paraphrase or rephrase uh, your friend's idea first you can take note of the keywords or the things that your friend says that you would like to paraphrase okay second you find synonyms or phrases that can carry the same meaning and third one you use your own words to rephrase it okay so how are we going to do it so let's see the examples all right so remember the language bank okay let's say if your friend says something and you want to agree with your friend right mm -hmm. okay so you can use the language bank and then you can rephrase a little bit of your friend's idea so you can say that it is true that and then you combine with what your friends have said okay so this is how you combine it and make it into a sentence and by doing so, you can carry on your discussion with your friends, okay? And then let's look at the second question, uh, second one, right? You're absolutely right, and then uh, you can mention about the topic, like uh, the person, okay, or the subject in that sentence. For example, he or she can definitely do that, okay? And then uh, the third one, by doing so, okay, we will definitely, okay, then you carry on your uh, topic, right or you can say that not only that and then you put your friend's idea in you refresh it a little bit and then you can say that he or she can also and then do this and that right okay so this is how you link them together all right and then if let's say if you agree in part that means you only partially agree with it you can say that i get your point right i get a point on this and then i get your point on this idea or uh, what you have uh, just said but then okay you can use the word however or but i do things that and then you give your own uh, reason or explanation or your own points of view okay all right all right so it looks like um, yeah we now know how to agree or disagree or even mm -hmm. if you want to um, partly agree, we know yes. how to say it and of course give justifications to that. And right mm -hmm. now we're going to take a short break. Back to you for Upper Form on Didate TV KPM right after this. KPM. You are now watching Menengah Atas or Upper Form on Didik TV KPM. Our subject for today is English Form 5. So, Miss Sim, shall we continue? Yeah, sure. Right. Okay, so just now we learn how to agree or disagree with your friends in a proper way, in a polite way. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's do a speaking practice, okay? So, our topic here, if you look at this, is how to attract more customers. So, we are going to give 
the ideas to Hannah, mm -hmm. okay, on how to attract more customers to her new shop. So imagine this is her new shop. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is the task. All right. Your cousin Hannah has just opened a new shop and she wants to attract more customers. So here are some ideas that she is considering on how to advertise the shop. Okay, if you look at your textbook, there is a task here, right? Okay, so we have five ideas here. For example, we have uh, to invite local people to a launch party. We have put adverts in local newspaper and magazine, record a radio advertisement, create her own Facebook page, and lastly, we have like to launch her own website, okay? So your task here is, if you look back, okay? Yeah, the first task, okay? I would like you to talk to your friends, okay? Uh, in pairs. So talk to each other about how successful each idea would be. Remember the five ideas just now, okay? And then for the second task, you are going to decide, okay? Both of you are going to decide which one is the best idea that your cousin should choose. Remember, you can use the words and phrases in the language bank to help you, to guide you, okay? All right. <clears throat> All right, so remember this, okay? This is the questions, all right? And then, um, how can Hannah attract more customers to her new shops? And then we have five ideas here, okay? And then language bank, like I say, you can use this, okay, in the discussions if you agree or disagree or agree in part. Mm -hmm. And you also can use this skill, paraphrase or phrasing your friend's ideas. Ah, uh, yes. <coughs> to support your friend's ideas or to carry on the discussions, right? Okay, and then the examples here, remember? Okay. So, um, let us try on this speaking practice, shall we? Okay. Maybe you can ask our pupils here. I'm going to divide them into two groups. Okay. So, um, Rachel and Zichen will be in one group, and then Fuliang and Eugene will be in another group, okay? All right. So, your fir first task, okay, let us uh, focus on the first task. So, the first task is, I want both of you <coughs> to actually uh, talk to each other about how successful each idea would be. If you look at this part, right, um, I think you can just focus on two ideas first and then we will ask another group to focus on another two ideas, right? Okay. No need to mention all of them, okay? So, um, for example, the first one, if you want to start the discussion, you can say that, uh, you can call your partner's name, mm -hmm. for example, like Zichian, okay? So, Zichian, uh, what do you think, uh, what are the ideas that you think Hannah, sh uh, can have to attract okay, more customers to her new shops. So personally, I think that uh, she should invite local people to a launch party because mm -hmm. and then you provide a reason why. Okay? Remember in the discussions, whether you agree or disagree or whether you throw uh, a new point, okay, your point of view, you need to provide an explanation why. Okay? Yeah. So you need to tell your friends why you think that she should uh, invite local people um, to her launch party, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then, if you, let's say you agree with your friend or you disagree with your friend, you you need to also provide your answers, your reason why you agree or disagree with your friends. Okay? Then the discussion will be going on like that. Okay? Right. Shall we try like uh, and see how does it work? Okay? Yeah. Let's yeah. do that. Okay. Maybe we'll start with the first group. Okay? Zichen and uh, Rachel first. Okay. Uh, Zichen. Okay, mm -hmm. in my humble opinion, Hana can put adverts in local newspaper and magazine to okay. attract more customers to her new shop. Although technology has been improved, people still believe that the traditional ways are more secure as the information is letters and accurate. Besides, it can grab the attention of readers easily if they had it in their hand. Do you agree with me, Rachel? Hmm. I couldn't agree more with you. Plus, Local newspapers and magazines are accessible in shops. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, I think Hannah can also record a radio advertisement since a brand washing slogan can leave a deep impression for the listeners and let them remember your products. Hannah should give it a try. By doing so, more customers will visit to Hannah's new shop after listening to the brand washing slogan. What do you think, Chen? You are absolutely right. 
Using radio to broadcast the brainwashing slogan would be one of the brilliant ideas to attract more customers to her show. All right, good. So just now we listen to that, we can see that um, when Zichen agree with Rachel, mm -hmm. she also like paraphrase uh, Rachel's idea, right? Yeah. For example, the radio, the brand washing slogan, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, she did a great job. I think uh, she can get five stars, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well and done. Uh, Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, Rachel as well, because uh, when she uh, mentions about the radio advertisement, she gave it, uh, explanations like why should Hana record a radio advertisement, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so both of them, they provide their explanation, their justification, then they also uh, try to rephrase their friends' ideas in yes. that discussions, okay? Mm -hmm. So I think both of them uh, have done a great job. Right. Great yeah. job, everyone. <laughs> Five stars for each of you, but we still yes. have one more group. Right? Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay, so let's listen to another group. Okay, who would like to start first here? Okay, Fuliang, right. Okay. From my perspective, mm -hmm. as technology is thriving by leaps and bounds in this modern century, Hannah can make full use of this splendid opportunity to create her own Facebook page. Mm -hmm. I strongly recommend her to promote her products by shedding light on some information or the unique features of her product. Do you agree with me, Eugene? Yes, I totally agree with you, Fuliang. Hannah can collect feedback of her shop uh, from the Facebook page too. And besides, Hannah also can launch her own website page on her social media, so can she can upload some picture of products and interact with her customer there. And this allowed the customer to buy her products without using her physical store. At the same time, Hannah can lower down the marketing budget like making an ad as she can attract customers from the social media. It's a win-win situation, right? What do you think, Fulia? Mm -hmm. You have made a good point. I totally agree with you. All right, okay. So we can see that uh, in the discussion, they also provide a reason like uh, why do they think that uh, Hannah can create her own uh, Facebook page mm -hmm. and another one also like how uh, she can launch her own uh, website. So yeah. I think yeah, both of them, yeah, they have done a great job as well, yeah. right? Do you agree? Yes, yes, they yes. have because uh, they both uh, agree with each other and yes. they also add a po uh, their point and also yes. I think if I'm not mistaken they also given uh, some reasons or justification right. to okay so I think they were re they reserve uh, deserve five mark uh, five stars right? five stars each five st yes yes <laughs> five stars for both of you okay. all right so we have touched about all five points over there yes. haven't we yeah so now let's uh, move on to the second task remember mm -hmm. um, the second task here Right, remember this one? Yeah. Okay, so for a second task, we have to, um, we would like to decide, okay? So I want them to decide which one is the best idea that they think Hannah should choose, okay? Ah, okay. Yeah, all right. So in this part, when you decide um, an idea, okay, uh, the best one, okay? Whether you agree or disagree, you also need to give an um, explanation. Like, why do you think it is the best one? Okay, so that your friends can either agree or disagree with you, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, maybe we can ask the girls first, all right, um, for Zichen's group. Anyone would like to start? Okay, Zichen. Yeah, okay. Uh, in my opinion, Hana can attract more customers to her new show by creating her own Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, Facebook can be an indispensable app as a pastime no matter senior citizens, teenagers, or children. So, this is a good strategy to promote her new show for everyone. Moreover, someone who is interested can search for more information on the show paths that have been created. What do you think, Rachel? I see eye to eye with you. Besides, Hannah can post the images and videos of her products on Facebook. People who browse through the Facebook can know more about the products sold in Hannah's new shop. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they definitely will make a visit to her shop. Okay. So both of them agree that uh, create her own uh, Facebook page would be the best idea, right? Okay. Yeah. How about the boys? Okay, Eugene. So my opinion, mm -hmm. I'll just direct uh, 
radio advertisement. This is okay. because Hana can use a brand washing slogan for a new shop and mm -hmm. it can leave a deep impression for the listener. And I'm pretty sure this would be an amazing way for Hana to attract more customers. Do you agree with me, Julian? Hmm. I don't think that's the case because I honestly think that inviting local people to a launch party will be the best idea. During this party, Hannah can let her customer try out her products and services out of charge. As an exchange, her customers need to give her some feedback and suggestions which can pay, play a high water role in giving her some inspirations to improve her product and services. How do you think, Eugene? Yes, I guess you are right, Fuliang, and it's definitely a better idea. Hannah can organize some activities during the party, such as the lucky draw, promotion, and giveaways. At the same time, Hannah can find some potential customers to become members, and they can help her to promote her shop. Then Hannah's shop might be well known in the local area. And in conclusion, Fuliang and I will choose to launch a party to attract more customers. That's all from us. Alright, okay. So it seems that Fu Liang has uh, successfully persuaded uh, Eugene yeah. <laughs> to agree with him that invite uh, local people to a launch party would be a, a better idea, right? Would yeah. be the best idea. Okay, mm -hmm. and then um, he actually disagreed in a polite way mm -hmm. and then he also provide his justification like why. Mm -hmm. So I think like um, all of them, they have actually uh, followed what... Uh, uh, in the previous uh, slide, right, we have mentioned right yep. how to agree, disagree, and paraphrase and rephrase and all this. Mm -hmm. So I think all of them done great job. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I think they should give, should be given five stars. Five stars. Five stars. Yeah. Yes. Well done, okay. everyone. So five yep. stars to each of them because they have mm -hmm. completed. Uh, both the tasks that you yes, mentioned earlier. Yes, yes. And, and I also like the, the point that uh, he gave one of the uh, pupils online because they managed to persuade uh, yeah. their teammates to actually change their answer because of that uh, reason that they have provided, right? Yes, yeah. All the right. reason is very important. That's yes. right. Well done, everyone. And right now, we're going to take a short break. Back to you after this on Upperform on the TV KPM. <laughs> KPM. Welcome to Upperform on Direct TV KPM. Our lesson for today is English Form 5 together with Miss Sim. Alright, Miss Sim, shall we continue? Yeah, sure. Okay. So let's continue with the next one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just now we have already practiced how to use the right words, how to agree or disagree with our friends politely, right? Yes. Okay, so let's uh, have a little more um, activity that maybe to test, okay, to make sure that you really use the right words, okay? okay. So I have one question here for all of you, maybe for those who are watching this and for the pup uh, pupils here, okay? So the question is, would you rather pay to use websites and social networking sites than have advertisements appear? Okay, what does it mean? It means that, okay, normally when you go for, you're using these apps and then you see that, okay, you have to pay to use the premium uh, versions or mm -hmm. some, sometimes some website you have to pay for it, then only the, advertis uh, the advertisement will disappear, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the question now is, would you pay for that? Would you pay for the website mm -hmm. and the social uh, networking sites if you don't want to see the advertisement or you would just uh, let the advertisement uh, be there so that you can enjoy the advertisement at the same time, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, maybe you can ask our pupils here, what do they think, all right? And don't forget to justify your answer, right? Anyone here would like to volunteer? Oh, Rachel, okay, Rachel. Right. For me, mm -hmm. I will not pay to use the web sites and social networking sites mm -hmm. because I think that paying for them is not a great deal. The advertisements, we just take only a few seconds and I can wait for that. For those advertisements in picture form, mm -hmm. I can just scroll them and that's all. I can still keep using the websites and social networking sites. 
All right. Okay, mm. I see Rachel's point, and she says that because she can still enjoy the advertisement, right? Yeah. Sometimes I do enjoy the advertisement, though, right? Yeah. They are very creative, you know, like entertaining and very attractive, right? Yeah. How about you, Sean? Do you think so? Like, do you would you like to watch that? Uh, I see your point. But there is also certain times where I would want it to be a bit quicker. Uh -huh. So if I have an option to watch the advertisement, but uh -huh. I can click skip maybe uh -huh. after five seconds, <laughs> I don't mind doing that instead of. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's listen to our pupils here. Would they uh, agree with Sean or do I agree with Rachel? Right. All right. Okay. Anyone here would like to say something? Okay, Eugene. Yeah, Eugene. What is your point of view? For me, I would rather. Pay for the website and social networking site. Mm. This is because I spend most of my time on the social media, and I can save a lot more of my time if I skip all those advertisements so that I can finish all my work or assignment quickly and smoothly. Hmm, mm. I see that. So you just would rather pay for it, is it? Yeah. Okay, it's interesting though. Like, uh, maybe it's a. I don't know. Like, girls would prefer to like. Uh, don't want to pay for extra. We just wait for the advertisements, and boys maybe just want everything to be done like quicker, right? So we just keep and things like that. I'm not sure. Is it that way? Possibly. I yeah, I'm not sure. I, okay, I kind but kind of agree with him. Actually. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting though. Um, but it actually depends on your personality, lah. If you are th those kind of persons who uh doesn't want to you know you like waste. Well, not to say waste it, but then uh just. Want to be fast, right? Everything yeah. to be done uh, mm -hmm. in the seconds. Then maybe you don't want to see the advertisements, right? Yeah. Okay. That could possibly so be that. yeah, uh, no matter what kind of uh, uh, whether you would like to pay or you don't want to pay, it's just that you need to provide a justification. That's very important, right? Yes. Because uh, we all uh, we have different uh, perspectives. Mm -hmm. So the only thing is you just have to provide your reason. Yeah. yeah, and since the pupils who answered this now, they did mm -hmm. provide their reasons, how mm -hmm. many stars will they get? Hmm, uh, I think yeah, they can all get, is that four, five? I think five. Uh. Yeah, five I'm very, stars for I'm very good, I'm very kind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much yeah. for being so generous. <laughs> Alright, okay, mm -hmm. so next, let's uh, move on. Alright, okay. So it's actually at the almost the end of the lesson. So maybe we can ask our pupils here, yeah, what have they learned from today's lessons? Let's hear from them. Okay. okay. Let's start with Zichen. Yes. Mm -hmm. For me, I have learned that using the right attitude in a discussion mm -hmm. among friends is crucial because it is an effective way to come to a conclusion with so many great minds as many have made life work. And this is also a remembering lesson for me in speaking. Okay, mm. she mentioned about the right attitude. This is very important, yes. right? Mm -hmm. How about Rachel? After having such a meaningful lesson, okay. I have learned about how to agree and disagree politely mm -hmm. in my discussion or an argument with my friends. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that it will come in handy in my daily conversations too. Okay, yeah, even in daily conversation, you can use that as well. Yeah. Okay, how about Fu Liang? As for me, I have okay. learned a bunch from this lesson, mm -hmm. and it has made me become more tolerant and open minded as we shall pay respect to our partners in a discussion. Mm -hmm. Not only that, uh, I get to know how to paraphrase and rephrase the idea in a more formal way. Therefore, I think this will be a great help in my future. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, yes. Uh, he mentioned about paying respect to others, right? Yeah. To your listeners. This is very important as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about Eugene? For me, I have learned about the proper way of agreeing, disagreeing, mm -hmm. and agreeing part when someone has asked for my opinion. Mm -hmm. After this lesson, I will try to avoid hurting others' feelings while replying in a conversation and make mm -hmm. sure not to make such a mistake in a group discussion. Thank you. All right. Okay. He also mentions about uh, just to avoid hurting other people's feelings, mm, right? Same yeah. like paying respect, okay? Mm -hmm. Because we don't want a discussion becomes a great fight or an argument, that's right? Right. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Okay. All right. Since we are all, almost mm -hmm. approaching towards the end of our lesson today, could mm -hmm. you kindly give us a summary or a recap of what we have learned yeah. so far? Yeah. Sure. 
Okay, so for the summary of uh, today's lessons, okay, first we learn how to agree politely, mm -hmm. okay, we learn how to disagree politely, and we also learn how to agree or disagree in part, that means only partially agree, yep. okay, politely, that means in a polite way, in an appropriate way, okay. Yep. So, like what uh, they have mentioned as well, like why do we have to do so? Can, uh, can we just like, you know, agree or disagree without giving any like explanation. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do not give any justification explanations, that people they will not understand you. They don't know what happened. Like, why do you think so, or why do you give such an uh, an idea, right? Yeah. Okay. So it is also to uh, respect others' opinions and be able to carry on the discussion harmoniously. That means yeah. you don't want to get into a fight, right? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So remember the language bank, okay? Mm -hmm. um, how are you going to agree, disagree, or agree in part with your friends? Remember how are you going to use that, the words, the phrases that you can use, okay? It is also very important in your daily conversations, yeah? Okay, and then, yeah. Yeah, all right. Thank you so much for our lesson for today. And what mm -hmm. about the overall uh, performance of our pupils online today? Oh, okay, four of them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think um, all of them, they have uh, actually uh, given me a very good um, justification yeah. whenever they want to um, uh, give uh, their opinions or their stand. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, all of them, they really have uh, done a great job. Okay, right. so um, yeah, like I say, I'm very kind. Uh -huh. I will give five stars. Five stars to everyone <laughs> once yes. again. Well done, everyone. And for those of them who are currently online or watching right now, if they want to get the learning materials or enhancement exercises, from mm -hmm. where can they get it from? Okay, they can actually get it from uh, Sumberku as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Sumberku uh, portal, yeah. uh, they will get all these kind of learning materials. It is all there. All right, thank yeah. you so much, Miss Sim, for mm -hmm. our lesson for today. And hopefully, for those of you watching, it has been beneficial to all of you. And don't forget to tune in to DDTV for more lessons like this. Till then, take care and bye. Bye.